Good morning. Sorry for the delay. Those of you that are with me live, Carrie, Ed, Erica, Nita, nice to see you. So having some internet troubles. But we're here. I think it's working now. Awesome. Welcome, welcome. Um, sorry we missed last week. That was just like a bad on my part. I was having some troubles there to get uh, get online and it just uh, never happened. So we're here today. We're going to do about a 45 minute to 50 minute flow. We're this to be. And uh, yeah, we'll get some sweat going. Feeling kind of fiery, so we'll do some some movement and uh, get a bit of hips in at the end. But uh, just listen to your body, challenge yourself, and um, take rest whenever you need to. Yeah. Are we really uh, doing this, Mr. B? Can you go into your own bed? Hey, excuse me. Can you go to your bed? Go into your bed. Go on, man. <laughs> what a grumbler. All right, take child's pose, please. Take your knees nice and wide. Sit back onto your heels. And just give yourself that moment to get landed, grounded. Start to connect to your breath. Nice deep inhales and exhales through your nose. Checking in with your body here. Do that quick scan of the body and feel if there's any areas that might have some tension in them this morning, some resistance. Channeling your breath to those areas. It's like any time you hit your yoga mat, really important to work with your body. Not fight against it. Deep breaths together. Inhale. And exhale. Making up your ujjayi breath. The nice deep breaths in and out through the nose. Make it audible. Powerful, intentional breaths. Long inhale, a long exhale. Two more, breathe in, breathe out. One more, full breath in. Spread your fingers, press back onto your heels. <clears throat> Inhale to tabletop. Bring your hands underneath your shoulders. Get your knees underneath your hips. Curl the toes under. We'll move into a floating table here, just starting to build a little bit of heat in the body. Lift the knees up off the mat in line with your ankles. And scoop the tailbone down like you're tucking your tail between your legs, starting to wake up some core muscles, the glutes, the legs. Building a little bit of heat right away. Start to wake up. Get your body into your practice. Breathe in. Check that the elbows are soft. So you start to wake up arms and shoulders, the upper back. Three breaths together. Inhale. And exhale. Press down. Pull the muscles in. Take one more deep breath in. Deep breath out. And then press back, downward facing dog. Feeling out your first down dog, your practice. Take up space on your mat, get a nice long stance. Maybe pedal out your knees. Wiggle out the shoulders, the elbows. And then land here in stillness. Press your heels down. Press your tailbone back. Breathe in. Let your chest melt down towards the floor. Ujjayi breath. Inhale. And exhale. Do that again, breathe in, 
root down through the foundation of your hands and your feet. One more big breath here. As you exhale, bend the knees, come up onto your toes, and walk up to your hands, and halfway lift on the inhale, and fold. Ragdoll, feet wide. Interlace the arms. Just let go of the weight of your head. Let go of tension in the neck, the shoulders, and just soften here. Gonna move with purpose here once we start to flow and just really, again, listening to your body, balancing strength with softness, balancing work with moments of rest when they're here, or even moments of rest if I'm not cueing that. If that's what you need in the moment, take it. Just check back in when you're ready. Really challenging yourself in your practice can be doing more than you think is possible sometimes, pushing through, going deeper. And sometimes the challenge is actually just listening and taking rest if it's what you need. Not letting your ego be what's guiding your practice, but really allowing your body to be your teacher here. Your breath. Take a full inhale. Hold a bit deeper. We'll do that one more time. A full breath in. And a full breath out. Fingertips down to your mat. Bring your feet back closer together. Heels wider than the big toes. On your next breath in, come up to a flat back. Lengthen the spine forward. Extended mountain sweep up, big stretch, and fold. Hug into your legs. Halfway lift. High plank. Pause and high plank. Three breaths. Inhale. Soften the elbows. Start to really feel that, like getting the body awake. Breathe in. Spread your fingers, press the knuckles down. As you inhale here, come onto your toes. Exhale, low plank. Keep the elbows in tight. Upward facing dog. Lift your chest forward. Downward facing dog, hips back. Breathe in. Breathe out. Two breaths, inhale. Exhale. Again, as you empty, bend the knees, lift the heels, look forward, hop or step to the top of your mat, flat back, and fold. Extended mountain, sweep up, big stretch, reach for it, fold, get small. Halfway lift, stretch the spine. Chaturanga Dandasana, high to low plank. Upward facing dog on the breath in, downward facing dog on the breath out. Fill here. Empty, press down into your mat. Inhale. Exhale, bend the knees, look forward, pause with the lungs empty, and then fly to the top of your mat, flat back, lengthen it, fold. Extended mountain. Sweep up and back. Find a little back bend now. Pull the belly in. And then fold. Empty. Halfway lift. Chaturanga Dandasana. Step or shoot back. Low plank. Upward facing dog. Lift your thighs up. Downward facing dog. One breath in. Exhale. Bend the knees. Look between your hands. Land your feet right there. Flat back, fold forward, sweep up and back, big reach, go for it, fold, lengthen, high to low, with breath, upward facing dog, downward facing dog, 
Take a breath in, bend your knees, hopper step. Starting to move, build heat, lengthen, fold. One more extended mountain, biggest back bend yet. Keep reaching, keep filling, fold forward. Flat back. Utkatasana, chair. Sink down nice and deep into your seat. Option, if you want to bring a little bit more heat to the legs, lift your heels up off the mat, holding there for three. Arm bones back. Tailbone scoops down. Inhale. Exhale. One more. Lift up your chest. Fold. Squeeze into your legs. Lengthen. Chaturanga Dandasana. Flow. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Warrior one on the right side. Take a breath in. Reach up. Open to warrior two. Flip and reverse. Peaceful warrior. Stretch your side body long. Chaturanga Dandasana. Flow it out. Upward facing. Downward facing dog. Left side. Warrior one. Dancing warrior together. Reach up. Open to two. Flip and reverse. Chaturanga Dandasana. Flow it out. Upward facing, downward facing dog. Ah, breathe in, breathe out. Two more breaths. Press down into your mat. Lift up onto your toes. Bend your knees, pause, look forward. Hop between your hands, flat back and fold. Utkatasana, just inhale. Maybe you lift the heels, feel that reach. Fold, melt over your legs. Stretch the spine long. Chaturanga Dandasana. Upward facing dog, lift up. Downward facing dog. Right foot, warrior one, go up. Warrior two, keep a nice deep lunge. Flip and reverse, big side body stretch. Chaturanga Nanasana, moving with breath. Upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Left side, use the breath. Exhale, warrior two. Reverse peaceful warrior, feel it. Open up, Chaturanga Nanasana, flow. Upward, downward facing dog. Take a breath in. Take a breath out. Nice deep breaths. Empty. Lift your heels. Bend your knees. Pause. Feel that. Hop forward. Flat back. And fold. Utkatasana. Maybe you lift the heels. Squeeze leg muscles. And then fold. Flat back. Chaturanga Dandasana, shoot back. Upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Right side, dancing warrior, reach up. Open warrior two, flip and reverse, stretch back. Chaturanga Dandasana, flow it out. Upward, downward facing dog. Left side, full expressions. Warrior two, reverse, reach, Chaturanga Dandasana, flow. Upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Right side, warrior one, go for it again. Open to two, reverse, Chaturanga Dandasana. Upward, downward. Left side, fullest expression, go for it. Open to warrior two, reverse, reach, Chaturanga Dandasana, flow. Upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Take a breath in, open your mouth, let it go. Keep the right foot up, 
Shift forward, knee to your nose. Hold it, breathe in, breathe out. Take your foot back up. Right knee, right tricep. Maybe you do an arm balance, if that's there for you, play with it, hold it for the breath in, hold it for the breath out. Take your right foot up. Right knee, left tricep. Option to balance here. Just play, see where you can go. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Inhale your foot up. Crescent lunge, step through. Take a breath, breath in. Sink down. You get that back heel nice and high. Hands to heart center. Twist to the right. Press your palms and integrate your shoulders. Take a breath in. Take a breath out. Lengthen and twist. Starting to shift the weight over to that right foot. Get nice and strong in your right leg. Hug in. Light on your left toes. And then as lightly as you can, step into chair twist. Sink down. Breathe in. Hold here. Feel the strength of your core. Pull the belly in. Sit a bit deeper. Inhale. Weight in both your feet here. Feeling that. Equally distributing the weight. One more here. Inhale. Hold. Shift the weight back into the right foot. Crescent lunge twist. Step back. Hold it. Full breath in. Full breath out. Warrior two. Land. Breathe in. Get nice and deep, yeah. Sink that front thigh down. Full breath in. Full breath out. Again. Flip and reverse. Extended side angle. Breathe in. Breathe out. Settle into it. Just here for a couple of breaths, but find the bind if it's there for you. If you're going for Bird of Paradise, like move with purpose. Get there. Hold. Full breath in. Full breath out. One more. Biggest inhale. Biggest exhale. Side plank. Plant the right hand on the mat. Step your right foot back. And right away, go into an expansive pose here. So like taking it on. Lift the top leg. Maybe you can like reach for your toes today and extend that leg up. Keep pressing down. Keep squeezing in. Inhale and exhale. Two more. Fullest expression. Really feel that. Expand outwards. Take one big breath in. Chaturanga Dandasana. Flow it out. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Big breath in. Let it go. <sighs> One more. Inhale. Exhale. Left foot up. Shift forward. Knee to nose. Holding it for one inhale. One exhale. Take the foot back up. Left knee, left tricep. Maybe you balance. If you're not sure how to, don't worry about it. Just squeeze, hold for a breath in and out. Lift up. Cross over. Left knee, right tricep. Hold it. Squeeze it in. More one inhale and one exhale. And then lift yourself up. Crescent lunge. Bring your back heel up as you reach up. Find your breath. Challenging yourself, but not to the point where you can't breathe, yeah? Heart beating. Squeeze in muscles. Hands to heart center. And twist. Right amount of challenge. Where you still breathe powerfully. Keep active in the back leg. Find that really strong core, shoulder integration, the whole upper body locked in. As we transition here, doing the work in the upper body, that left leg, like everything there stays the same. Squeeze in, take an inhale, 
Take an exhale, get the weight into that left foot, lightly step the back foot forward, chair twist. Keep active, squeezing skin to muscle, muscle to bone, deeper seat, deeper twist. Inhale and exhale, a couple more here. Feel the legs working equally, press into your feet, fill your lungs. Empty out, shift the weight back over to that left foot as lightly as you can. Crescent lunge twist, whoop, if you fall out, just come right back, that's okay. Stay active and intentional in the engagement of the muscles in the legs. Inhale and exhale. Lift the back heel higher, squeeze it in. Take one more breath, warrior two. <laughs> Sink down into it. Soften the shoulders, spark up the fingers. And really find more deep this lunge. Steady your breath, inhale, exhale, fill, and empty. One more, hold for the breath out, flip and reverse. Peaceful warrior, extended side angle, come down right away. Working in the bind if that's where you're going, take it on. If you have the bind, keep integrated through the shoulders, pull that right shoulder back. If you're moving into a variation, take it with purpose, get there and then come back down. Inhale and exhale, two more. Hold it, squeeze in, take a full breath, stay for your exhale. Left hand on the mat, side plank, step the left foot back. <laughs> take a breath in and out. And this side, see where you can take it. Different variation, just doing something interesting, something powerful, whatever that looks like in your body, feel it. Express out, two more, inhale, exhale, fill your lungs, chaturanga to nasana flow. Upward facing dog, downward facing dog, up onto your toes, bend your knees, hop or step to the top of your mat, flat back, feet wide, fingers to toes forward fold. Scoop up your big toes, with your peace fingers. Whew, I'm sweating, it's good. Let go of the head. You might have a bend in your knees here. Where can you release some tension here. Where is there resistance in your body and your mind? Don't put meaning on it. It's there. Just work to soften it, to ease up on it. Breathe in. Breathe out. Take another full inhale. Another full exhale. Toe peel your feet back to touch. Sit into chair, reach up. Inhale, lift your heels off the mat. Exhale, ground your heels, twist to the right side. Moving here with breath. Inhale, center, reach up. Maybe you lift the heels. Exhale, twist left. Heels ground down, you twist. Three more on each side. Reach up. Twist right. And reach. Twist left. Center, heels might lift. Twist right. Using the full breath, center. Twist left, 
One more on each side. Reach up. Twist right. Center. Twist left. Last one. Center. Reach up. Lift the heels if you can. Squeeze. Take one more breath in. And fold. Gorilla. <clears throat> feet wide. Palms underneath the feet. Press down through the backs of your hands. Get that wrist stretch. Let go of the weight of your head. Soften into your knees. And breathe. Challenging practice. You might not even be challenged, those of you, some of you out there, and some of you might be, right? Just finding that balance between strength and softness. Like I said earlier, even in challenging moments of a practice, the option there to have the experience of ease. Ease, completely different than easy, yeah? Easy, there's not much challenge. Ease is a mindset that can accompany something really challenging, something difficult. Not allowing the thoughts to slip into suffering, judgment, comparison, critiquing your body. All of those things, like, take away that experience of ease. Add in more and more resistance. And the work here, doing the work, challenging yourself, but allowing that resistance to release as often as you catch it, building up. Anywhere that there's tension, channeling the breath, softening into it. Long inhale, long exhale. Mm. Release your feet, palms down. And then toe heel the feet together. Step back a bit. We'll take a crow just for three breaths. I'm super sweaty. We'll see how this goes. Starting to shift forward. Knees on the triceps. Belly strong. Lifting up for three. Holding here. Squeeze. For two. Your toes might be on the ground. That's okay. Just feel that activation. Take a breath in. Chaturanga Dandasana. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Up onto your toes, bend your knees, step to the top of your mat, a flat back, and fold, sweep up, eagle on the right side, sink down, hug in, right arm under, right leg over, create that connection to center line, biceps, inner thighs squeezing, go deeper. Breathe in. Sleeping eagle, come down. Hold here for a breath in, for a breath out. Bound warrior three. Keep the arms in the bind. Extend the right leg back. Lift your right heel high. Inhale. Exhale. Breathe in. Breathe out. Lift a little higher. Revolved half moon, right hand to the ground, left hand up. Might be left hand on your lower back, or you can extend up through the arm. Keep that back heel pressing towards the back of your mat and then lift it up. Feel that right bum cheek working, squeeze it. Inhale, exhale. Again, a little bit higher with that back leg and then use the muscles to hold it right there. Full breath in and release feet together. Halfway lift. Fold, sweep all the way up, eagle on the left side, sink down, pull in, elbows in line with the shoulders, inhale, sleeping eagle, keep the elbows in line with the shoulders as you hinge forward, maybe you make contact with your knees, squeeze in. Inhale, 
and exhale. Bound warrior three. Make sure that bottom foot, the right foot is at 12 o'clock. So it's not at an angle. Toes facing the front of your mat. And then from there, press your right foot, press back the left heel, lift that leg higher. Breathe in and out. Two more, lift it, squeeze it. Last one here, hold, keep that leg where it is so the hips stay closed, revolved half moon, right hand up, left hand down. You might use a prop here just to bring the floor up a little bit, create that long line from your back heel right to the crown of your head. Breathe in, breathe out. Reach the right fingertips nice and high, and then lift that back heel. Really get into that back leg, that back bum cheek, squeezing. Take a full breath in, full breath out. One more, lift higher, and then release feet together. <sighs> Inhale, and exhale. Halfway lift, fold forward, sweep all the way up. Take on tree on the right side. Right away, expand. Grow tall. Press your leg and your foot into one another. Create that connection. Pull the belly in. And then expand out. Breathe. In. Out, full breath, reach for it, and then release. Switch sides. Tree on the left. Full expression. Breathe in, breathe out, just a few more, access your fullest possible tree pose, breathe in, pull the belly in, keep it active, take one more breath, and release, arms up, fold, halfway lift, step back to high plank, Forearm plank, come down onto the forearms. If you need to drop your knees at any point, do that. We're gonna move through a few variations here. And starting in forearm plank, spread your fingers on the mat so you're not like making fists or prayer hands. Yeah, get the palms grounded, press into the forearms, and then start to rock front to back. So think of the shoulders coming behind the elbows and in front of the elbows. Using your core muscles here, pull them in. Do that for 10. Nine, still breathing. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Shoulders over the elbows. Walk your feet in and then move to dolphin. So you're pressing down through the heels. Keep your forearms on the ground. Down dog on the forearms, dolphin pose. Drive your tailbone back. Your heels down, breathe. Soften your shoulders onto your back. Inhale. Exhale. One more. Press down. And then walk your feet out, forearm plank. Shoulders over elbows. And hip dips. So dipping the hips from right to left. Keep adjusting your feet if you need to. Do that for 10, nine, core strong. Eight, seven, six, squeezing. Five, four, three, two, and one. Dolphin pose, walk the feet in. Stay grounded through the forearms, grounded through all of your knuckles, your palms. Inhale, exhale, three breaths. Feel your shoulders, soften into them. They're working in, 
and out. Walk back, forearm plank, just holding for five breaths. Inhale, exhale. Long breaths, four, squeeze. But three, holding here, keep it strong for two. One more breath in, one more breath out. Come down onto your belly. Whew. Take a moment of rest. Just cactus the arms. Find your breath, slow down your heartbeat. One more breath in, one more breath out. Keep your arms cactus, take your legs into a diamond shape like Supta Vada Konasana, feet touching, knees wide, skydiver pose, lift yourself up. Arms lift off the mat, press your feet, lift the legs as much as you can, get your glutes working, get your core working to support the lower back, breathe in, breathe out, lift it as high as you can, squeeze and hold for three, for two, take it a little higher, hold, 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 one more breath in and release down. Opposite ear to the mat. Hmm. Breathe in. Breathe out. Come back to center. Reach your arms up over your head. Extend your legs out long. Bring them a bit closer together. And then lift up here, superhero. Extending long through the fingers, back to the toes. Point your toes back, and then we'll do a flutter here. So fluttering arms and legs for 10, nine, core is strong, eight, seven, squeeze, lift higher if you can, hold it, six, five, four, three, two, and one, come all the way down. Upward facing dog. Hold up dog. Soften the elbows. Hold for five breaths, yeah? This pose doesn't really get held as often, but feel that shoulders back, chest up. Toes are pointed back. Press through the tops of your feet. Three more. Inhale. Exhale. Lift your thighs, get this working through the glutes, the legs, the core, the back, squeezing. Take one more breath in, downward facing dog. <sighs> Inhale, exhale. Walk up to the top of your mat, come down onto your back. Do a bridge. Press the triceps, lift the shoulders, and then let them come together under your back. Everything on the mat, press it down to create lift through the hips, the chest. Inhale, exhale. Take it up a little bit higher, squeeze in through your glutes. One more breath, come down, set up for wheel. Go right into it, right next inhale, just lift yourself up, don't think about it too much. Take it on, press your feet. Maybe walk them in and come up onto your tiptoes if that's available to you. Being playful here in this wheel, we're gonna just do one for like, maybe like a 10 breath hold. So you might wanna like lift a foot up to the ceiling, that's an option, seeing what happens there. Keep strong through the muscles in the body, hugging them in to support it. Maybe the other leg goes up, squeeze. 
maybe you play with taking like one hand onto your hip. See what happens. Other hand might come to your hip. Just like going through different variations to find different areas of the body working. Hold it. And do 10 wheel push ups and we'll call it a day. Maybe you join me for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Come all the way down. Mr. B. Supta Baddha Konasana, soles of the feet together. Knees wide. <laughs> Baby. Oh boy. One hand on your belly, one hand on your heart. <sighs> Take a full inhale. Take a full exhale. Hug your knees into your chest. Grab the backs of your knees, rock front to back a few times. That momentum going. Come up to Navasana, five breaths in Navasana. Any variation here. You might have the hands behind the knees. Arms and legs can extend. You can do like upward facing bolt where you get hold of the feet. Extend the legs straight up. Work through the core. Chest up, shoulders back. Three more. Hold it. For two. One. Stay. Bring your feet down. We'll move into seated half pigeon today. Just a quick one on each side. I have to be somewhere so I can't do much longer. So we'll just do a quick hip. Do this. So you've got the right ankle on the left knee. Hands are extend or on the ground behind you. And then actively pushing that right knee away from you. Using the muscles, right? And the hip flexor. <clears throat> you get more of an opening if you bring the left heel in a bit closer. Pressing the chest forward, pressing the right knee forward. Soften the elbows. It's a much more active hip opener. Just be here, breathing into it. Inhale. Exhale. Option to stay here for three more breaths. So you can take a table top variation where you keep the leg crossed, lift your hips up to the ceiling, press that right knee down, really feel that opening through the right hip. Two more in and out, go a little bit higher, and then gently come down, switch legs, left ankle on the right knee, arms behind you, and again, just starting here with the hips down, press the left knee out, press the chest forward so you feel like there's a lift up and forward through the chest, not rounding the shoulders forward, yeah, integrate shoulders, keep the legs active, breathe in, Breathe out, a couple more before we lift up. Find the right place under the right foot. Get into that opening through the left hip. Take a breath. And then option to stay here or three breaths in the tabletop variation, you'll lift the hips up. Keep pressing hips to the ceiling. Keep pressing the left knee down towards the floor. Two more, inhale, exhale, lift higher, squeeze it in and gently come all the way down. Extend your legs out in front of you. Take a quick seated forward fold. Get your sit bones pulled back, fold over your legs. A little deeper on the exhale. Breath in, breath out. And slowly come down onto your back. Moving into supine twist. Draw the right knee into your chest, left leg long, and cross the right knee over to the left side of your mat. 
Shoulders stay grounded. Breathe in. Guide that right knee a little bit further into the twist. Not pulling, not forcing, but just gently guiding it with the left hand. Feel that opening through the side body, the lower back. Come back to center. Hips to the left just a little bit. Switch legs. Right leg straight. Left knee bent. And then cross it over the body. Supine twist. What a snorer. Yeah. Just being so cute, B. Go a little deeper. Sorry for the distraction. He's just so cute. Come back to center. Give your knees a squeeze. Pull in tight. Shoulders lift, forehead to knees. Build that last little burst of tension. Squeeze it in. And then release. Shavasana. Let yourself land. Maybe tapping into the sound of the snoring Rottweiler can help to relax you. <laughs> He's pretty relaxed right now. Just allow your body to rest. Good work. It's a little bit more challenging than sometimes. That's okay. Challenge is good. I will read from Journey to the Heart today. Hmm. You're free to open your heart. Open your heart to the people you love. Open your heart to the world. Open your heart to the universe, to life, and all the creatures and creations in it. Open your heart as much as you can. It's safe to open your heart now. There was a time when we believed that the only way to promote, to protect yourself, was to shut down and close your heart. You've learned so much. You've learned the powers of honesty, compassion, forgiveness, and kindness. You will no longer become stuck or trapped in your, if you open your heart. You no longer need to protect yourself by guarding your heart with the heavy armor you wore in the past. Now you are free, free to open your heart, free to open yourself to the universe. A woman I met in Sedona gave me a lovely visualization to use. Picture your heart. In front of your heart, see a beautiful rosebud, tightly closed. Whenever you want your heart to open, picture the rose blooming wide, beautiful, alive, and fragrant. Whenever you want to retreat, turn the rose back into a bud. Open your heart to the world, to the people who live in it. Open yourself to creation. Open your heart to yourself, to life. Life will become magical. And you'll think back and smile. You will wonder why it took so long to open your heart. Open your heart as much as you choose, as much as you can. Share it with the world. Start to wiggle your fingers and your toes. Breathe in. Let it out through your mouth. <sighs> Take a full body stretch. Arms reach up. Stretch long. And then you'll 
bring yourself up to a seated position with your eyes still closed, if that's comfortable, sitting tall, hands at your heart center. Take a deep breath in, open your mouth, let it go. Thumbs to your forehead center. My heart acknowledges the beautiful open heart of each and every one of you. Thank you for flowing with me when we bow together. Have an amazing rest of your day. Um, I will be back next Sunday, and then I think it's the Sunday after that I'm actually going to be in Iceland, so I'm not sure that I'll be able to live stream um, the class, but I'm hoping, and don't get me wrong because I'm really going to be busy when I'm there, I'm teaching a bunch, but um, I'm hoping to be able to film a class maybe at Iceland Power Yoga or somewhere out in nature, depending on the weather, so keep, it keep tuned in for that. I'll have an upload hopefully while I'm gone. Um, keep moving your body, keep nourishing your body, stay connected to a daily mindfulness practice, and I will see you again really soon. You're cute. Come on, come over here. Yeah, come say hi. Come say hi. Have an awesome day, Ed, Carrie, BK. Nice to see you. Erica, Anita, always happy to see you out there. Take care. I will see you next weekend. I'm hoping to film a video on Iceland too, Anita. They're some of my favorites, but I'm definitely like, I'm pretty got a pretty booked schedule this time. I'm only gone for a week, so. No excuses. I'll see what I can do. If nothing else, my friend is in a new house now and there's just like a beautiful big field behind her place. And um, I'm sure that it, wherever you are in Iceland is gorgeous. So whatever I do, hopefully it'll be beautiful. This I, I love it too. Anita. I've been, this is my fourth trip. I'm actually going back in December too because I can't get enough. But anyway, have an awesome week and end of your weekend and have an awesome week ahead. And if you're catching the recording, you know, follow, subscribe, all of that good stuff. Check out my website. Come cook with me. Love y'all. Take care. I'll see you soon.